Also now, shelter dogs in need of new shelter. A nonprofit animal rescue called One Tail at a Time is asking for your help after part of its ceiling collapsed at one of its locations over the weekend. CBS 2's Jackie Kostak is live in North Elston now. And Jackie, there are dogs that need to be fostered. Erica, there were several dogs that were displaced over the weekend when part of the ceiling collapsed at this training center. So take a look right now. You can actually see a big chunk of the ceiling is still sort of hanging by a thread up there. When it opened up, it rained down water on debris on a couple of the dogs. There were six dogs here at the time, and they are all high need dogs. We typically intake 20 to 30 animals in need every week. And so if we have this bottleneck with one of our facilities out, we don't want it to also impact us being able to help the dogs who need us. Anna Johnson is the shelter director for One Tail at a Time, and she says, thankfully, none of the dogs were injured when the ceiling caved in at the Rudy Stewart Training and Behavior Center, but the damage now poses an immediate need for longer-term foster care. She says the nonprofit typically has about 300 animals in its care at any given time. They always rely on its fosters, but say that they will even more so now with one of their locations out of commission. Yandu is one of those pups that was here when the ceiling caved in and there was standing water in his kennel plaster and actually a chunk of concrete that fell onto the kennel. His new foster parents, Sarah Honecker and her partner, Don, say that Yandu is settling in just fine. He showed up fresh as can be with all the supplies he needed. It honestly was a very low stress situation for us and um, definitely did a lot of sleeping yesterday. But today, like I said, it's like he's kind of always been here. So One Tail at a Time says that there are two ways that you can help out right now. One is by becoming a longer term foster home or by donating money to help out with those repairs. And they say there is no immediate timeline on when those repairs can be done. In Irving Park, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Yeah.